Hello and welcome to part 7 of Anar Plays Victoria 2 as New England. Uh, last episode, we helped Mexico get back Nevada, Utah, and finished up what we wanted out of colonizing Africa. Got all the junk we wanted. And, uh, I don't know. Completed the Panama Canal. That was pretty much it. Good, good amount of stuff. Gonna unpause and just get right into it. See what, uh, what happens. The USCA goes bankrupt, of course. Seems that internationally there's just a widespread catastrophe depression type thing going on. And I think we have enough money to just sit through it, but I think most of... No, well, we're not building anything right now. We're just losing a bunch of money. Because of industrial subsidies, that's why. Which, no, most things seem to be making money, except for the steel factory. And uh, well, there was another thing, but I lost sight of it. The other steel factory. Steel prices are going down. What else? Okay, we get the colonial incident. Uh, against two, the Ottoman Empire. Again. Keep getting problems with them. Let's see. I mean, there's the Palestine. It would be cool to have that. They're allied with Austria, the Netherlands, Spain, and Romania. Of course, Romania's their puppet state, it seems. Yes. And like I said, it'd be cool to kind of, like, create Israel, I guess, but... I mean, I don't really care. Again, I'll just let that slide. And I'll keep letting it slide. Until... Cooler stuff happens. So, yep, there's that. Uh, I wanted to look into trade. See what's up. Machine parts. 31.9. Going... Down. Kaboom. Uh, yeah, steel is down to 4.4 .4 and still going down, so maybe that's why I have created an economy based on steel. Uh, fuel is in high demand. How do we make fuel? Should go look at that. Someone is, in real life, using a saw nearby, and I hope that doesn't bleed into the audio. That'd be horrible. I'd be very upset. Um, yeah, I don't think we can make a fuel factory. I don't even know like, what technology would lead to a fuel factory. Organic chemistry. Cheap steel. Assembly line. Combustion engine. Commerce. Market regulations. The historical theory. I don't know. But we can increase our dominion over the USA. And that's fun. <clears throat> Diplomatic mission under siege. News reaches us from the USA that the local ruling elites have thrown our ambassadors out of the country and that their troops are laying siege to our embassy. The apparent intent to enforce that decision. This affair is developing into an enormous loss of international face, one which can only be avoided through a formal declaration of war against the USA. Call the allies. Declare... Yep. Sure. We're at war with the USA again. Everyone has honored it. To cut down to... Force to... Yeah, we're cutting them down to size again. I think this is a brilliant use of our resources. Especially in these trying times. Need something to unite us all. And what better way to do that than warfare? Correct? I think so. Still got the Nationalist Party in charge. So let's just get in there. Our 85,000 troops. 
Got a stack of 36,000 over here. I can go in and reinforce them if they have trouble still. Less liberals, please. Okay, we've won the Battle of Philadelphia. There's still many battles yet to go. Let's see, they're going to there. Uh, we'll chase these guys out of Pittsburgh real quick. These guys need a leader as soon as they can. Yep, please join us. I, I like our colonial forces wanting to take part. I should encourage that. Let's see. Guess we can take our navy. And... Bring it down to get this 12 stack. What is going on in Java? 24? Nope. Even with the Panama Canal, though, it's still quicker just to go around Africa. And we'll get them come back to the African uh, forces in a bit. Okay, we've won another battle here in Baltimore. I'll just merge these guys, because we're just going to be doing this extermination tactic. I don't want them to have a military to strike against us at all, really. Going to Cleveland area. Oh, wait, maybe we don't want to do that. So yeah, 31,000 conscripted forces against all of those people. I don't go to Pittsburgh. I feel like our meeting point should change now for Boston, because that's too far away from the front. If we need conscripted forces, we need to put them in Pittsburgh, and Williamsport is a good place to do that. So, merge these guys, get them over there as fast as they can. These guys are occupying that place, because I wasn't paying attention. Whatever. Doesn't bother me that much. We seem to have won, although at great cost. Let's go to Fredericksburg with them. Get all of these guys inside our lands. Just organize them. They're kind of swarming in now. Go do more artillery now? Sure. It's the last tech we need to do. 100,000 <laughs> troops against 2,000 Americans. Uh, I guess everyone, move in there. Everyone. <laughs> this is dumb. Okay, so we have 208,000. Let's balance that out a little bit. You go to Philadelphia, you go to Pittsburgh. Then we should probably balance it out from there again. When we can. Okay, our... Point of our rally point is under siege. I don't like that at all. And we have rebels in Colombia. Are they a threat? Not really, no. Uh, Mexico is laying waste to the USCA. 41,000 Americans are invading Mexico, though. Mm. Colombia is providing some support. What's Brazil up to? We've got 29,000 troops. Probably on their way, right? It takes them a little while to get in there. But they will be valuable to that front, I'm sure. So yeah, they've taken back uh, Denver. Not Denver. Delaware. Oh, I said Denver. It begins with a D. Obviously. Just keep doing what we can. Gotta get them out of Buffalo. Education for women. Should encourage that. From an idealistic standpoint. Just keep chasing these guys down, I guess. I'm going to Manassas. Now we gain humiliate to the Belgians. 
And now we can go back down to Williamsport. Where are our ships now? We got 21,000 troops there in Africa. Where are our ships? Okay, they're on the other side of Africa. No, they probably went through the Suez Canal. That makes that shorter, I guess. At least we don't have to go around Africa. Okay. I feel like we keep losing troops down here fighting these guys. Just go up north, consolidate a little bit better. Oh, did I merge everyone? Merge. Balance. Okay. That's good to me. I'll take the bigger stack and go to Washington. Just try and see if we can occupy it. Well, I mean, I keep wanting to fight these guys. I don't like them existing. I don't like them having any troops. If they can be helped. Battle of Philadelphia ended in our victory. Battle of Baltimore ended similarly. Keep chasing them down. Hey, it's like we're killing less and less every single time. Wait, what? The British are now involved? Um... Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so this war just got even bigger. That's not good for us at all. I'm a bit worried now, to be honest. We really need these colonial troops then. I'm not even going to worry about fighting in the colonies. Okay, let's just defend our homeland then, I guess. Do that as much as possible. We are winning. I don't suppose how much it would take for them to get a peace going. Cut the USA down to size. Empire of Mexico acquires all cores. I mean, I want both of those. Oh, they're demanding that from the USCA. Probably get that from the USCA. They would not accept that offer yet, but eventually, probably. Okay, so let's just drive up northwards through all of this territory and let's just focus on staying alive. British troops ain't nothing to be messing with. Okay. I can live with that. Not one of these guys out of the war. And we are still winning. So that's good. Uh, how many people are actually involved in this? Costa Rica is not our ally? That's weird. Thought they were. Kind of messes things up a little bit for me. Hopefully these guys move over and start providing more support to the Mexican troops while I deal with Britain and the rest of America up here. All these forts are certainly coming in handy. I would say so. Didn't, real ah, didn't realize the British were going to get involved somehow to defend America. We used to be such friends. Mm -hmm. No, you go to Buffalo. You go to Binghampton. You... Hey, that's not the one. Oh, I thought I'd split them into threes. I guess not. Okay, where's the first fleet now? They're on their way to Africa. Yeah, I gotta get my 21,000 troops out of there before the British get to them. That would be very important. Ah, oh, there's a 45... 45,000 Americans right there. Okay. 
now we got 36,000 British troops here, 44,000. Oh, they're about to take this out. At some point, maybe we should just let them take Pittsburgh until we get our reinforcements. And just uh, try to keep them out of New York, I guess. So we'll continue fighting them up here. Just trying to push them out. Mm. I'm not sure whether or not to try and keep defending. We'll put you in Rochester. And Syracuse. We got some involvement up there in Carabao. And the first fleet has barely moved. Okay. Keep observing. Uh, whatever that is. I say we should just get involved. Get this 38 stack out of there if we can. I don't care. Big battle. We got them greatly outnumbered. Should mean something, shouldn't it? Right. We have good leadership, too. Yeah, we've won. Now let's get down here, then. Try and get them out of our territory. Are they winning now? No, we're still winning. So we're still in this. Ah, but the British, they're just funneling in so many troops. Okay. Well, we got about 45,000 colonials gonna come up and help us out. Thinking, like, should I send them down here to help? No, I think... It looks like the Mexicans are... Like, yeah, it looks like they're kind of bringing it around. But I'm not sure. I don't know. Let's... No, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna risk it helping them. Risk, like, I need to... I need to win the war for me. So, sorry guys. Oh, I'm just letting these guys die of attrition here. Hmm. So yeah, let's send them up. Ken. And let's separate you two so you don't... You're starving each other to death, you know. Okay. Go there. There we go. Um, alright, let's just get, get into it, we stop them here, hopefully. I mean, those reinforcements could be on their way, let's see, this could end in disaster. One faith, okay, two to one. First fleet. Uh, go up to Concord. Alright, we won the Battle of Bangor. Tried chasing them down to Carabao. Still got a bunch of troops down there. And the Mexicans are doing what they can. Yeah, the Brazilians are really helping out too. So yeah, I feel I feel comfortable uh, focusing up here then. Uh, to war by Jingo, of course. General Randolph is dead. Okay, now we got Joseph Stewart up there. Okay, we got 84,000 British troops over there, so I'm gonna kind of do a little retreat down to Concord, see if we can take back Lewiston. We'll just stay there. These guys can take Lewiston. All by themselves, I'm sure. What are you guys doing? I hate that. 
don't do things yourselves. I'm in control. Peace does not prevail, obviously. It won't be in this mess if it did. Although this is obviously a war that is my fault. Still winning, though. Gotta keep that in mind. I'm just saying, the USA has got to get cut down to size. The British could do with some cut down to size in two. Could add a war goal to liberate Canada and get them off my backs forever and potentially get a new ally. Uh, I think that would be a good idea, right? Although again, well... Hmm. Ponderous questioning. I mean, if we could get the United States out of the war, but it's easier said than done at this point. Keep fighting the British as much as we can. We're gonna fight a war of attrition on our own soil, and we're actually losing. I feel. I feel so crowded. Let's see, they're gonna move up there. We should follow. Have them kind of attack us in a way. I mean, this war is about winning battles, right? That's what a cut down to size confrontation is. So that's all we have to do, but they're taking too much territory. Let's get back down <clears throat> to Concord. See if we can get rid of that 54 stack there. I'm going to Syracuse. Our trade must be protected. This we know. Okay. Americans also have a stack that I don't like. Liberals cannot be in power right now. I am sorry. Hmm. Yep. Nationalists, please. There we go. Are we losing that? The Americans are winning. Get out of there. Please get out of there. Recuperate. That could be disastrous. So, split them up. Balance them out as much as we can. Defend the capital. Hmm. Man, that was a big blow. Let's see, I mean they've occupied most of Texas. So that's good. Texas is a really weird looking state. Uh, they're still having trouble with the British in their area. Most of our land is occupied. They can't add anything against us anymore, though. So, worst case scenario, this turns into a white piece. Okay, stop, stop, stop. I don't know what you're doing. It's probably because of that, though. So yeah, now we got 56 and 43 again. So let's get up there, fight that 54,000. They've just taken Concord out. Okay. Guess we can try and deoccupy these two places. Get them at least out of New England. As best we can. Now they're just pouring in so many troops. So many. Okay. That's going good. Gotta get them out of our capital first. Then move over to Arkham. Let's see. Um eight hour workday. Sure. Why not? Get them out of there. 
force them into some sort of retreat. Get the Americans down here. It's a good thing we built all these forts. Move and subsidize. Are we getting back into it, war score? No, we continue to lose war score. Columbia is out of it now. Deep defense system. Sure. Can't, probably can't do any of this. More guards. Do what you can. Create new troops. Guess. Well, half the country's under occupation at any given moment these days. Match together so you're under the leadership of one general. I don't know if that makes a difference or not. All right, we're messing the Americans up at least. Okay, and now our fleet is fighting the uh, the British fleet. I think we have a better fleet than them. Okay, we're back in it. I think. Uh, should balance out again. Send these guys to Arkham. These guys can go to Albany. won the Battle of Massachusetts Bay. Just send these guys out here to Cape Hatteras. And just do some minor blockading. Alright, that's done. Get them out of Boston. Get them out of Province. See how well we do with two stacks instead of you know, just the one. So they're probably going to need to help down here. And we'll merge together again. Combined assault against all of those guys. Got them into a big fight. Took out a huge chunk. I'm not sure if it was enough. Just keep following them. Slim pickings of something. Okay, so now we're back to 190. Uh, gonna balance out again. Concord. Can we balance that again? Probably can't make it up there to uh, that province in time for... Well, definitely not uh, with them lacking a general in such a way. So let's go mess with the Americans some more. Okay, now he has a general. And they're really going straight for the capital as much as they possibly can try. We'll just keep doing what we can to uh, keep them out. I feel like we've made some very big strategic blunders early on in this fight. In terms of trying to consolidate our forces instead of spreading them out a little bit better. Them. Time is on our side, I suppose. Now Boston. And we'll move up north again. And we're putting up a fight at least. We're number fourth in uh, great power rank. These guys are probably going to need help, I bet. Nope. We got them out. Let's get back into Albany, then. I mean, how many troops can they possibly have? They just keep bringing in more. 
347 against my 42. Looks like Mexico's out of it now. Just Brazil. Whatever. Mexico got what they wanted in Yucatan, and that's good enough for me. And then Brazil's gonna have its problems dealing with uh, British South America and Para. <sighs> Britain is too powerful. OP. Are we really losing that battle? Okay, there we go. Let's uh, send some there. Send these guys to Syracuse then. Nope. That was probably that was a horrible idea. Ah. Dumb. Dumb. Get out of there. I don't care. Can't be losing that many troops in uh dumb dumb decisions. We are slowly pushing them out. I mean how long that can that last though? Then get them out of Boston. Now let's fight everyone. Okay. It's not like there's any other wars going on at the moment. Acquisition of Russian Korea. So there's nothing to distract them. I feel like we're just dragging this out, but eventually, we're going to have to white peace. Or status quo. And then the United States will probably surpass us militarily. We're still better than them. Are they in the British sphere of influence? No, they're just probably friendly. Ah, that's frustrating. All I know is we need to get over here and get them out of Boston. losing ground. They just surged out of nowhere, it seems. Passing a lot of reforms. Let's see. We got good pensions. Let's go drink at minimum wage. Hmm. Okay. Get them out of there next. Uh, yeah. There's only 7,000 of them right there. We took out a stack. No new uh, technology to be earned there. So I guess we'll just do uh, what we were doing. Factory input, I guess. I don't know. How effective is our blockade even being? Not effective enough. It's not winning us the war. That's for sure. They are not backing off at all. Mm. Go back to Boston. Uh, separate a little bit, go to New Bedford. Nope, 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 no. Krakatoa explodes. Eep. Is this it? <sighs> I mean, yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> Alright, whatever. It's status quo. That was a big waste of time. I say. Let's build our military back as much as we can. Well, uh, that was unfortunate. You go to Williamsport, you go to Albany, again. 
Open all factories, subsidize all factories. Just in case. Well. And now we have anarcho-liberals all over the place. Let's see, you're the you're the big one. So you're gonna have to deal with all that. We should probably send our navy to Africa. Oh look at that. Hmm. They're rebelling over there too. So I gotta send some troops. What about Okay, we had some small stuff going on in Batavia, but the garrison we had there is uh, sorting it out as much as it can. Okay, I guess get to uh, Boston. You can do whatever you can, although I'm not expecting much. Oh, we're about to start losing money. Tax maximum? Increased tariffs, probably be a bad idea overall. 20%. We'll be making money again. Hypothetically, at least. Okay, new alliance with Columbia? Sure. Low minimum wage. Okay. Socialists. Hmm. Right, they'll do what they can. Man. Everything was real horrible right there. Okay, now, communism was invented in New England makes sense. We're kind of a socialist hotbed right now. Uh, which means we could probably switch to... Nope, we still don't have a communist party, though. Interesting. Tensions dissipate. Still not a fan of the USA right now. Let's see. We're still stronger than them. Like, if Britain hadn't gotten involved, we would have won. Man, that was a great uh, mistake on our part. Italy exists. Trying to take over Croatia? Alright. Whatever you want to do. Guess. Uh, take another look. Actually, I don't like them meeting up in Williamsport anymore. Back to Boston, everyone. That was the way we had it. That's the way it's going to be. So just, just reduce spending somewhere. Don't need that much administration spending. There we go. And our economy shoots up all the money. Balance out a little bit there. You can get on board that ship. Or those ships, multiple ships. And go down to Bonnie. That would be a good idea. Of course. We're killing our African troops. Excellent. We got to deal with the unemployed down here. Let's see. I don't know. More, more ammunition. Even though liquor was the most profitable of those factories, let's get more tax efficiency. Oh, 
help drive these rebels out of uh, our African colonies, New New England. Alright. That's going on. Hiroshi goes bankrupt. Almost happened to us. Went into a little bit of debt there. Only to ourselves, though. Our own banks. Easy to solve. Army. More guards. More of this stuff. More guards. Alright, good. Good. Oh, man. Alright. Yep, just keep building the military as much as possible. We have demonstrated that Poor... Maybe... I need to strategize better. That's what I'm trying to say here. Could have won that war. Just saying. No reason to have lost it. But yeah. I think, uh... Consolidating forces early on was a huge mistake. But it's not the end of the world. We didn't lose that much. We're still good. Just that the USA is gonna keep gaining strength as long as we keep supporting our allies down here. Should be good. Get that alliance with them. We're allied with all of these guys. Yeah, should just continue investing in South America. Probably be a good idea. Get all of them on our side. Try and get the USCA in our sphere away from them. But. That's probably not going to happen so much. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Yeah. Have a nice day.